Hi everybody, this is MXUX, the camera angle, huh? Listen, in this video, I'm doing a quick race update. I want to uh, go over some video from the race that's hard to find from SCORE. I also have some information that uh, on the beta truck builds that's pretty interesting. There's also some uh, numbering um, nomenclature for the truck on the app. And uh, anyway, let me just get started with this video. I wanted to just roll this out real quick. Here's the team down in uh, Baja. Hope that started right. I want to play for you guys. Uh, this is from Reddit, but this is, was on uh, the Score International. This is an interview with um, the people involved with the truck, uh, the E414. Way into the morning hours. I mean, we had, you know, they, I guess if, if you, uh, if everybody left the race, the Brentals could have their own race here. We have so many trucks, so. Uh, they, everybody at the at the shop's just been working really hard, and Matt and and, and the guys from Lord Towns, we all been just out here pre-running, trying to get as much work as we can get done. But to go back to that, I don't think anybody at Branthel sleeps ever. They have so many trucks; they're trying to get prepped. I mean, the shop is just full of trucks. I can't, I have been over there right before a race in a, a minute, but yeah, it's just always like it's not just their trucks. You know, they have their truck now. This new something totally different which is cool and then they prep all the trucks they build too so it's just uh great to see great teams teaming up and doing something new the e-class is where it's at this is kind of the future of off-road racing yeah i know for sure uh, they always say don't drink the water down here i think jordan and jonathan put something in the water at the shop because it's non-stop over there but uh yeah no it's uh we're super everybody's super excited to be here and and get this thing going uh um matt he he, he can vouch for it and and Sure, he's got some other guys on the Lordstown team that he wants to talk about, but uh, he, he can tell you a little. All more. right, Matt, you want to get a couple words? Hey, we're just really excited to be here, be part of this. Uh, we, we understand this is pretty much the toughest environment that is accessible to, to many people, so um, we're really excited to be here and, and test this out so that we can put all the lessons learned into our production truck. Our guys. Man, it still has a new car smell in here. <laughs> yeah, uh, just like. I just want to pause that for a minute. Um, I'm going to try to show you the information later. That now, this truck is in a, in the E class, and these this class and a couple other classes have been designated to run a shortcut course on the 250 track. Okay, and this course is 242, uh, not 250. And you know the shorters, they might say, "Oh, they got a special deal." They didn't get a special deal. This is uh, a thing they do in racing. You've got these trophy trucks, which cost $300,000 each, 1,000 uh, horsepower. These things run fast, and sometimes they alter uh, uh, the track for some of the slower vehicles. You know, the uh, endurance is 600 horsepower, uh, and uh, that's the case. And it's not just the endurance that's run this shorter course. It's... Um, some other classes as well. I would remind you that the battery uh, range on the Endurance is 240, might be a little more depending on the cell configuration. And I was told that the 250 class actually measures 244 miles. So this 242 route might be a little shorter. Anyway, uh, just some food for thought regarding a recharge. Now, this is the steering mechanism on the truck. I believe that's a power steering unit. I'm not sure. that The Brethel Brothers have a special one they do for their trophy trucks, which is uh, machined uh, billet stainless steel, I believe, uh, which that is not it. But anyway, interesting. Uh, there's your King Shocks, and uh, they've been working on this thing uh, for quite a while. Like the guys at Brent Elf, the guys from Lordstown back in Ohio and Detroit and California, they've been putting in countless hours to make this happen. Uh, so we just, we're just lucky guys to get to drive it. That's it. Well, good luck to you guys. We'll see you on the start and at the finish, too. Thank you. You could see right here, I was corrected, and so, and rightfully so. These are coolant lines running to the engine. These are the power lines. This is the steering control arm. This is not a drive shaft. That is the motor. It's all like that on all four wheels. There's no drive shafts. You can see they reworked the suspension a little bit. All right, Chuck. Great to see you, buddy. Yeah, good luck tomorrow.
Yeah, thanks a lot. And I'd uh, th- uh, like to thank everybody at SCORE, everybody doing a great job to, to put on the race, uh, uh, considering all the conditions that we're all in. So we're super happy to be here. That's it, man. Glad to be down here with you. All right, have fun tomorrow. Can't wait to hear how it goes. All right, that's yeah, some. You really got to watch it on this one. Usually you could hear him fire up, but look at that. Look at that build, too. I don't know if you can get a shot of that going away, but yeah, the Brentel brothers. Uh... Okay. That was the score interview. It's hard to find elsewhere. Really nice. All right, guys. This is uh, the information on. Um, this was posted on uh, Reddit as well. On the r uh, slash Lord Stein Mortars Reddit, uh, the the classes, these are the classes they're going to use a shortcut, okay? And this is uh, designated by uh, the race guys running the race score, and the point is, they're not getting any. It's going to be twenty two hundred forty two, excuse me, point nine miles. Okay, so they're not getting any special treatment. Don't let Hindenburg uh, dog you on that. And this is the start time for the Baja E is 9.30 a.m. And you see the trophy trucks start first and so forth. Um, the, uh, the, and again, uh, Baja E, our uh, truck number is uh, on the app if you're tracking it is the truck number is e414 and uh the truck on the tracking app is 8414 let me repeat that eight the number eight four one four okay and again you can read this right here you can pause it and read it uh just goes to show you and we're running right on the range of the endurance they have a little bigger battery pack, a eh, little lighter truck, eh, you know, I've, I've been told that these, these are a little long too, that the 250 is actually 244. But anyway, they're talking about doing a charge. Let's take them at their word. All right, let me see if I can get this next clip lined up. Okay, I was going to call this up on my phone, but it's just as easy to do it off this Reddit post. This is the app. And uh, uh, in a race tomorrow, score a national app, live tracking of each vehicle, location, speed, and other stats. They have GPS trackers. Okay, so this is it. And now, the most important thing about this, and I think I'm going to make a graphic on this, you're going to look for our truck number. The truck number for the endurance is E414, but that's not what's listed on this app. What you want is eight, the number eight, the number four, the number one, the number four. Eight, four, one, four. Eighty-four, fourteen is the endurance on this app. I've checked it out. It's really cool. Um, and this is going to be able to, uh, it's going to be great. It's going to really, uh, enable everybody to keep track of the race. I don't know how much helicopter coverage they're going to have on the endurance, but there you go. Okay, this is just a post here. Uh, I wanted to make a note of it. It's got some great pictures of the endurance. I'm not sure. I think this would be at Lordstown headquarters, probably. I'm not positive, but you can see a great shot of the interior, and these are these beta trucks and uh how cool it looks and uh how cool the uh the truck looks i just wanted to i don't know if that'll expand there we go all right check out the interior i just love the interior on this truck anyway i wanted to share that with you guys this is also from reddit all righty then okay this is from the the lordstown motors uh website and uh, i just wanted to note to you guys that um they got five they had two now they have five betas that have rolled off the line uh one of the workers said they're doing uh six through ten i think they're doing like uh one a week 
I'm sure that'll speed up as they build more. I think what's interesting is if you look at these, anyway, this one here is Sub Zero, which is a freezer company, I believe. This is the Harley Davidson colors. This is Goodyear. This has actually Goodyear on it. And uh, I'm not sure what this one has on it. But th uh, this, might, this looks like a crash test symbol here. This too also looks like a crash test uh, graphic. Anyway, uh, so Goodyear, Sub-Zero. All right. Uh, don't know what they're trying to say there. 40 below, minus 40. That's a Sub-Zero freezer, right? Okay. This is Goodyear. This is you can't see it on here, but this says Goodyear, and these are the Goodyear colors. And as I said, there's I can't see anything on here, but I'd just be speculating. But those are Harley Davidson colors, and that's the number one. Anyway, just to give you a view, and there's a tweet from a worker there said they're doing six through ten, and they're on track for the September launch. So. These are new trucks. I'm going to try to find a video. There's a video somewhere of them loading these trucks on a carrier. But again, Goodyear, Sub-Zero. Uh, what's going on here? Nobody's saying nothing. I think we all know what's going on there, don't we? Okay, this is for all the shorters out there that want to say those betas are pushers. There they are. Loading up on a car carrier at the Lordstown plant. That is, oh, I thought that said Goodyear on it. Well, those are the Goodyear colors. That's got five stars on it, too. That I wonder if that's a crash. I don't know if that's a test vehicle. But uh, those are definitely the Goodyear colors. It might say Goodyear on one side. I'm not sure. Anyway, there you go. Okay, guys, I just wanted to make this clip. Now, uh, the Endurance, the LMC Endurance uh, San Felipe 2, 250 race numbers. The truck number, the number that's on the truck is E Edward 414, Edward 4414, Edward 4114. Okay. If you go by the app, or this is, I believe, every. Uh, truck uh, in the race and every vehicle atv quad also uh you know spec truck all the rest of them class one you put an eight in front of that number okay eight four one four very important you're gonna go you're gonna load the app you're gonna look for the truck you're gonna and you're not gonna be able to find it look for this number eight eight four one four okay i believe that's called the bib number if you can't find the truck, if you're looking under this number, which is probably not going to be listed, and on the website and the app, it's going to be 8414. Just wanted to get that straight for everybody, because I was having a hard time myself. 8414, okay? All right, guys, I'm going to wrap up this video. I hope you liked it. I wanted to get it out quick, some race news and some other news from Lordstown. Hey, uh, Go Fort Lordstown. I think they can do the race without a charge or a really short one. I think the torque motors are going to shine. I think the balance of the truck is going to shine. I think uh, I think they're going to have a good showing. Let's all hope so. 50% of the trucks never finish. And don't forget the short course. Everybody's A lot of classes are taking it. Don't let the short sellers tell you that uh, they got special treatment. All right, this is MXUX. The creepy music's going to start now. Thanks for watching, guys.